cars have more to do with building energy consumption than most people realize. That's because when a door saves energy, the whole building saves energy, a lot of energy, even if it's a very small door. To get an idea how much, let's say a building has one sectional door. It takes 20 seconds to open and close, which it might do around 50,000 times per year. And let's say the building has 50 square meters of good quality windows. The door occupies one-fifth of the window's total area, yet it represents five times the energy losses. Why is this surprising? Because when we talk about doors, we usually focus on heat transmission, the door's U-value. Years of common knowledge say a well-insulated door saves lots of energy. But that's only true if the door is closed. When the door is open, it's losing energy. And most doors are there to be opened. Studies show just three open minutes per hour can outweigh a door's U-value. So to know a door's energy impact, we have to consider multiple factors. One is the U-value. Another is air permeability, or leakage when the door is closed. The door's electrical consumption is a third. And the biggest is air infiltration during opening and closing. At ASA Abloy Entrance Systems, we're making it easier to evaluate these factors. We want architects and building owners to look past product features in order to find real energy solutions. Because it isn't about the right door. It's about the right door for the right place and right for the way in which it will be used. To learn more about the impact of doors on building energy consumption, contact your local representative or visit asaabloyentrance.com.